What's up guys, this is Sean Tan and today let's talk about something very serious. I visited my friend, uh, new unit. What's up guys, this is Sean Tan. Every time you get the collect the keys to your new home, right, you actually feel very excited. But this was the other way around. Um, a lot of the buyers were angry. They were pissed off. So I, I gave all. I asked why la. They showed me all these photographs. So now the residents and the developer are in argument all the time because of the expectation not met, right? And some of it is even legally not possible. I want to use this episode to actually set that context and to actually explain to house owners your rights. If you're buying a house, right, actually all house buyers are actually protected by this act called the HDA, right? It's the I think Housing Development Act. So it's set up by the government to protect home buyers. So if you're buying a shop office or you're buying a factory, you're not protected under this act. And under this act, there are certain criteria that need to be fulfilled by the developers to not harm or to not put risk in harming customers of their products, right? So in this case, this friend of mine collected the keys and then I want to check out the facilities, it's not ready. So something to note is during VP, vacant possession. Vacant possession is the process uh, handing over to the house from the developer to the buyer. If you are a buyer and you are requested to have the unit ready right so you need to pay the remaining balance and you need to prepare yourself to collect the keys and by right when the developer is ready for this phase they are supposed to get all facilities ready but in this case it's not in proper terms developer needs the consent or the notification by the architect professional architect to conclude that all facilities are ready to be handed over because it wouldn't make sense if my house unit is ready but my swimming pool is not or my car park is not or my access is not ready so how i stay correct or not most house buyers to in this case would be they were full of regret because you pay like seven to eight hundred thousand for a house that you would hope to call home but it's not working so that's this Thing, this body called the Strata Management Tribunal or I call it a Strata Tribunal this tribunal is where you get to uh, file your case against developers and you don't have to worry whether you got a law background or you need a lawyer to actually file these complaints okay so you can actually do all that you can file in and it's like 10 ringgit to 200 ringgit only to actually file a case and in this court uh, no professional lawyers are actually allowed and so it's like layman to layman for example my my electronic uh, cable was not working because of the developer right so it's, they are supposed to fix I send them a notification they did not respond within 14 days therefore I asked my own guy to fix it and they gave me a bill and I would want to charge back to the developer but then the developer don't want to pay so how so these are disputes and then we will bring to this tribunal and they will be judged, right? And you can see that in these courts, most of the time consumers are protected, right? You don't have to be pressurized by all these bad, bad developers, bad, bad developers. Once again, I just want to stress out that uh, do not fear if, you, if your unit is actually below your expectation or... But below expectation is not like wall minor crack, hairline crack or the pain why this side a bit fade off and not it's not those kind of things it's like way more serious things like your swimming pool not ready or your car park lot is empty or the entire handrail collapse this also makes me appreciate way more towards uh, developers like eco world sunway gamuda satya their handover process right if if you are lucky enough to get one before Sometimes I take it for granted because I always visit all these premium, so-called premium developers. 
it's really eye opening to just like uh, a wake up call like hey <coughs> don't take public listed developers for granted right if you buy from private limited those smaller developers these are the qualities that you will get so although sometimes like uh, their prices may be lower for smaller developers it may not directly reflect in their product but most of the time it does when I got my keys from one of the reputable developers I got Starbucks, I got Croissant I got all this kind of thing they will explain everything where's the nearest school, where to complain uh, what they can help you with uh, these are the several contractor lists that you can actually acquire this, if you want to sell out these are the several recommended agents these are the services that these branded developers are providing unlike smaller developers uh, you need to pick up your game in conclusion Strata Management Tribunal would be the place if you want to file anything against your developer but sometimes don't be too naive for example like uh, you buy phase 1 then you want to complain but about stopping phase 2 because it will affect your property price that will not work lah, right? but just that you need to claim back what is your right and what is expected of in accordance to your sales and purchase agreement so I hope that's all and I hope your journey on property hunting continues to prosper. Until next time, this is Sean Tan. If you really like this video, like it, share it, and even subscribe for more sharing like this. Until next time, ciao.